In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a PayPal account that sends and receives money right here in Nigeria and any other country that faces this same limitation. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you learn something. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be taking you through the process of creating a PayPal account that works perfectly for Nigerians. What do I mean? I mean a PayPal account that can actually help you send and receive forms any up to any amount in Nigeria. Of course, it's of no news that PayPal has restricted Nigerians from using all of its features. And with this, it has made Nigerian traditional PayPal become so obsolete that you can do you can do almost nothing with it. All right. This is the Nigerian PayPal interface, PayPal.com slash ng. So when you open this, this is the Nigerian PayPal. But let me show you some of the PayPal account that you can use to bypass this. Of course, I mean PayPal that you can use to add your credit card, send and receive money. The first on my list is the US PayPal. The US PayPal can help you do this very easy. Of course, the South African PayPal, the Lesotho and others, the Kenya and UAE. But for the cost of this class, I will be making use of the Lesotho PayPal, which is www.paypal.com slash ls. I'll be leaving this in the description in the description of this course so you can go through it and pick any option that favors you or you like so for the course of this class let's use paypal.com slash ls all right we want to create a little paypal that sends and receives money in nigeria all right one thing i want you to take note of is this in nigerian paypal take look at this carefully you have the send option and the pay online option that means you can only send money you can only pay you are giving out you can't receive do you understand this is really really bad but in the lesotho paper you have this other menu as well added business menu where you can accept online payments send invoices sell international that's receiving as well so for the cost of this class let's move quickly to creating a free account a free account all right let's create a free account so you click on the sign up free button and it will load us into this page all right so over here you have two options to either choose a personal account or a business account but i will highly recommend you picking a business account because you actually want to do business with it you want to make money you want to receive money you get so choose a business account so you can accept and do a lot of things all right let's get going once you click on this option, as you click, click on this option, it will load us into a page where we will be requested to impute our... Okay, we now have this option to impute our email. Let's impute our email. The email we made here, Alan 680, 680. Again, this is for the cost of this class. So I'm just using a random email that I generated. Alan 680 at gmail.com. Right, the password ensure you have your password at the back of your mind because it's your your key to your account over here people will ask you for your business contact your, le your legal first name your legal last name because this is literally your own name you have, just have to fill in your direct details make sure they are correct they correspond with what your card has like what is on your card probably because you are doing a, a legit business probably so over here my legal first name is print all right I have to make this cap. Oh, that was that was an error. I have to cancel this. Okay, Prince. Last name you can have Joseph. Or well, let's just put Daniel. Daniel. Legal business name. You can put anything what you, you want. Your business is. But for the cost of this class, let's use Prince. Prince Digital. All right, Digital. Okay, Prince. Right. you check this box this this box says this is the, the name you want your customers to see of course this is what i just want my customers to see you have to check it if otherwise you use any other name you want them to to see on the receipts but i'll choose this name for time's sake all right you have to put a phone number and over here you don't have to put a little phone number your business is in nigeria so put or you're creating your account in nigeria so put your correct details all right put your correct details it doesn't matter whatever detail you put so let's put a number here six three nine 
944802. All right, your business address. What do you choose to put as your business address? Of course, any maybe number one redemption street because this is just a mock account like right? I'm just trying to your city color by stay in color all right my states is cross river states cross river cross river states dollars. US dollars I'll recommend you leave it as the US dollars you will have the option to create more to create more um currency options later when you create your account then you check up you check this box agree and continue so once all right we've gone through this so your business type you have individual slash sole proprietorship you can have sole proprietorship corporation partnership private corporation slash public corporation non-profitable organization government entity well meanwhile i'll actually choose sole proprietorship all right so what products or service keywords what is your business defined what can they use to it what what's the keyword they can use to define your business i'll just for the sake of this class i'll just put digital all right i have digital good books goods media you know website is optional if you have it, you can put it now if you don't have it you can put it later but it's completely optional your country or region of incorporation again you don't have to put a lesson to you are doing this business or you are opening these accounts in nigeria so bring the nigeria into play right choose nigeria again and continue do it's optional actually it's actually optional but you just have to choose it at this point you pick nigeria all right so you have to put your date of birth I just put some random figures there all right 1989 nationality you have to change it to nigeria i keep emphasizing change it to nigeria all right your identity documents you can choose to use your national identity card your international passport or your driving like driver's license so i'll choose to use my national identity card okay i have to fill in the number one two three four five six seven eight nine all right so your home address you can check this box to make it same as business address because the previous one we put was our business address so once you check this box you have it as your business address for time sake so we just have to move all right so i think we are almost done yeah we are getting our paypal set up and we are about to send money and receive money in nigeria all right let's not be too happy we'll let this one load first okay uh, so it's still loading yay welcome to your paypal business accounts over here you can request or send forms as you can see you have this set on up online payment option all right so at this point we have completely set up our paypal say get paid now so let's request something all right so that's request so I can show you how it is at this point you are just left with fixing in your credit card and to to get payment and every other thing so this is it you click on summary once you click on summary to take you to your dashboard all right this is our dashboard you can see we have a new PayPal account that can actually send and receive money in Nigeria what you have to do is just complete this you com you confirm your email that will be that's been sent to your paypal um, your email address all right then you link and confirm your debit or credit card and that's all you are good to go man you can start sending and receiving money in nigeria congratulations if you actually like this video um do as well to